right, before I go any further in this video, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my friend Chris, also known as Boston Boy 812. He has given me probably 50 to 52,000 shout outs over the years that we've been friends on YouTube, and I've probably given him maybe two. So I'd like to give him a huge shout out right at the beginning of this video. He does comedy videos, he does skits, reviews, pretty much everything imaginable. So if you have not already checked him out, you should. Right now there will be a link to his channel in the description below, and there is a dog. Please take this video with the hugest freaking grain of salt that you can even think of. I don't care if it's a giant chunk of salt. Please remember, this is not 10 reasons I hate my 350Z. This is 10 things I hate about my 350Z. All in all, I love this car. Next video will be 10 things I love about my 350Z. So if you're about to type a comment saying, don't. And the first thing that I hate about my 350Z is the stupid cup holders. I, I'm pretty sure that they hired an expert in human torture to design these cup holders for them because they are the dumbest freaking thing ever. Just look. Come on, Nissan. All I want to fit is a rock star, not a sponsor, but should be, and my toy dinosaur puppet in my cup holder. And look, it can't even fit without its head being squished. I know what you're thinking, just turn it upside down. But then my toy dinosaur puppet can't see anything, and I don't want to treat it like that. And not only that, but I don't know if, if you noticed this, but like, if I have my arm here and I'm trying to shift, it just ran right into everything, knocks it over and flies into your passenger's window and breaks the window off. And there's supposed to be a cup holder or an ashtray right here, but my car doesn't have either, so now all I have is this freaking trash right here. Don't first world problems me. This is annoying, okay? You don't have to deal with it unless you have a 350, in which case, you understand the struggle. Now, reason number two is my car in particular, not necessarily all 350Zs, but I hate all of the scratches and imperfections that are on this car. I'm super OCD with how my car looks, and unfortunately, because this car is 13 year old, years old, it's by no fault of the car itself. It has plenty of dings and battle scars to show that it is 13 years old. As far as dings and scratches go, let's see how many we can find in like 10 seconds. Straight away, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this little piece of crap up here is in this dumb plastic dip that I don't even want here. They're freaking out. Everywhere. Now, it's really not that big of a deal. It's just something that I'm not a huge fan of. I think I can live. And the third thing I hate about my Nissan 350Z would have to go to the creakiness of the interior. Now, the interiors of all 350Zs, every single one of them from 2003, this is a 2004, from 2003 all the way to 2009, doesn't matter which one it is, have terrible chintzy interiors. You just, it's not a car you're going to buy because of its interior, it's a car you'd have to buy in spite of its interior. That is for sure. Every Everything is made out of plastic and everything squeaks and rattles and just, every, just does everything wrong when you hit a bump and it makes me want to kill myself. Do I even need to say anything other than just... What is this? It's a good thing that this thing sounds good and handles well because otherwise... I'd probably be dead by now. Okay, that might be a bit extreme, but the squeaks are really annoying. And of course, because my car has a muffler to lead, the base RPM is like somewhere around like 2500 RPM or 3300 RPM. Do that like droney sound and it, it makes something, I don't know what it is in the back, rattle and like chatter and it, it's so irritating. I hate it so much. The reason number trace, as they say in Mexico, because I'm so multicultural, you know, has to go to something that is a problem in all 350Zs, but especially in mine, which is the radio. Well, I'll cut right to the chase. It's crap. And mine is even more complete crap than usual. See, my car is a 350Z Touring, so it even has the upgraded Bose, I think it is, stereo system, and it's still garbage. It's absolutely terrible. It is literally the muddiest, least clear sounding stereo. Maybe not that I've ever heard, but it's definitely up there. And mine is even worse because the CD player does doesn't work, uh, half the buttons don't work, I can't change the time of the clock, so right now I think it's like December 12th, 2037 or whatever. I can't skip tracks on CDs, I can't change the radio station without turning the little thing, and I really need to get a different head unit, but um, although I don't know if you've noticed, 
probably haven't, but uh, I don't have very much money. So that whole uh, head unit thing is kind of pricey. So I don't know. I'll do something about it eventually. But literally the radio that is in my 2001 Volkswagen Jetta Wolfsburg edition literally is legitimately 150 times better than this. It blows it out of the water because that's actually a genuinely good stereo. And this one is complete and total garbage. <laughs> okay. Moving on to the next one. So I just realized that um, the last one I said I was so multicultural, but I apparently couldn't count because I said that that was reason number tres and it was actually reason number cuatro. So reason number cinco, I cinco de mayo did. Reason number five has to go to the lack of storage space in this car. I know, I know it's a sports car. I didn't expect a lot of storage. But what Nissan, Nissan? That's definitely not a brand. But what Nissan decided to do with the storage capacity in this car is really stupid. Basically what they did was they went, yes, this is a good amount of storage in this car. Oh wait, crap. We forgot to make the rear suspension work properly. I know what to do, let's cut the storage space in half by putting a giant strut tower bar in the back. What is this? What? I what is this? So you can see there's actually like a pretty decent amount of space here. I mean, I've got some random fiberglass garbage and canards and stuff in here. Not important, not using those. We got all this different space and then of course it's like, let's put a giant freaking piece of junk in here. Just kidding, this is very useful and it doesn't look that bad, but I just, I think they could have, you know, maybe sorted out a little better than they did. Kind of like in the 370Z where the strut tower bar is like, up here and a lot less in the way. I'm not complaining because honestly it looks pretty cool but uh, it does literally cut the storage in half. Like if you have flat stuff like maybe like a flat or a suitcase or like clothes or a duffel bag or something that kind of stuff fits in there fine. Anyway as you can probably tell most of these are just stupid reasons because all in all I love this car. It's amazing. It sounds amazing. It handles amazing and it's been pretty reliable other than you know just the fuel pump like right after I got it. And you can look forward to the next video I'm going to be doing which will be five maybe even ten things that I love about my Nissan 350Z. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you really really enjoyed it, maybe even subscribe for more car content and more videos of my personal car, my Nissan 350Z, and I will see you guys later.